speaking on Zoom, man, what is it about Zoom that gets us mentally drained um, after? Because you're physically within one place. You're not even going anywhere. But after that, once you press leave meeting, you like, <sighs> you're like, wow, that I feel exhausted. What is it? What is it about that? That bro, that's exactly it's exactly the energy transfer. It's energy transfer. That's that's exactly what it is. Because you have to put yourself in a specific frame of mind to go from Zoom meeting to uh, regular self. You know, put that little mask on. You, you know what it is, bro. Up. It's like mask. think think about like the interaction you have on Zoom and the way we're talking right now. When you're talking right now, I can interrupt your thought. But I'm not really cutting you off. It's like I'm adding more fuel towards what you're saying. I don't really have to look at myself when I'm talking to you. So when we're talking on Zoom, I'm not even looking at you. I'm looking at the other screen, which is me. And I'm looking at, am I smiling? Am I, you're so self-conscious of your whole being that you're sitting there, okay, I don't look as enthused. Oh, should I have laughed at that? How, wow, like that's how, that's how I'm doing. That's my background. Oh, oh, he's talking. I can't really. Inter- oh, oh, and then you try and talk. Uh, 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 like, oh, okay, you go, right? It loses that actual effect because you're overthinking the whole process of this whole interaction. So when you're done talking, I, well, I think when you're done talking, you, you come back into your yourself, but your mind is so, ex- it's, it's overly engaged with a lot of things outside of the interaction. I think that causes that overexhaustion in thinking. And just being self-conscious. Yeah, and it's like face-to-face interactions at scale. Because you, you hit on something good is the, the facial expressions that mm-hmm. you have to have. Because I'll never forget, when I was at Afrotech World, it was a, it's a, you know, faceless experiment. It's faceless. It's faceless. You're using an avatar. Mm. And you're walking around. So all you have to do is use your voice instead of your face. And that made a huge difference in interaction levels. Really? For sure. Wow. You don't have to have your face in people's face all the time. Like you don't have to be like, hey, how's it going? Like and look at the camera, maintain eye contact with the with the camera the whole time and worry about interacting with people's face. And also when other people don't have energy, you can try to like make up for their energy sometimes because mm-hmm. it doesn't feel equal. Mm-hmm. Right? So and their lack of energy could take some of yours as well. So that's some things that, that take energy. It gets you drained up, man. Word. It gets you drained. Word. But 